Now that I have the clay centered, I'm going to do the next steps of throwing. I'm going to start the wheel spinning, get my hands wet again. I'm going to set my right hand here as a brace, and it is the my elbow is braced against my leg. My right hand is here, um, keeping me steady. And then I'm going to set my left hand over the top, so they're touching, kind of like a, a butterfly or something like that. They're holding these hands steady, so when I set my middle finger in the middle, it's drilling the hole directly in the center. I'll add a little bit of water so I don't stick, and then my left hand will continue to drill this hole straight down. I'm going to compress this little piece that bumps up, I'm going to compress that, just push that back into the clay so that it doesn't rip. Then I'm also going to measure the floor. So I've got my needle tool, I'm going to stick my needle tool in through the floor of the clay until it touches the wheel head. Then I'm going to put my finger in the inside and pull out my finger and the needle tool together. So the distance from the tip of the needle tool to my fingertip is uh, the thickness of my floor. And that's about a quarter of an inch to half an inch, and that's a nice thickness for a bowl. I'll add a little bit more water, and now I'm going to pull my fingertips out towards my palm. And this is a quick step. This is called opening out the floor. We drilled the hole, and then we opened out the floor. Compress my rim every time. You may have heard a couple bubbles pop. This is some uh, not very well wedged clay, or, uh, recycled clay. Um, so it's got a few bubbles. I'll hopefully just pop them during that process. So I opened out the floor. I tried to create a little bit of a curve in the floor on the bottom. Um, now I'm going to pull the wall up. So for pulling the wall up, I'm going to use two points, either two fingertips, one fingertip, uh, and what I'll actually use is a fingertip and uh, the sponge across from each other, squeezing those together and bringing them up. The sponge helps me keep water on the surface, and notice I'm, I've got my elbows against my body, and I'm leaning forward over the clay as I pull up. I'm going to compress my rim, and you can either compress your rim by taking your left fingers and uh, holding them uh, next to each other and your right finger and pushing down, or you can fold your sponge over. I like to keep my thumb under, fold my hand over the top, and that compresses it. Now I'm going to do another pull. That one got some of the height out of the clay. Now I'm going to start to do a little bit more shaping. I'm going to use a folded over sponge to compress that rim every single time you pull. Compress that rim. I'm also going to get some water out of the inside and because I've got not the best clay today, I'm going to pop some holes in here. Uh, I've got a couple spots that I felt where there was a bubble. Well, maybe just the one. Um, so I popped that bubble with my needle tool and then you see if I keep running my fingers over it, it'll go away. So now I'm going to do another pull. Uh, th that one was to get the thickness out. Now I'm going to start to do a little bit more shaping, really concentrating my fingers at the bottom. Then I let up through the middle because it got thin, and then it got kind of thick above that bubble, so I'm going to increase my, my pressure up there, compressing my rim. Uh, so I've got most of my thickness uh, pretty evened out. My wall thickness from the bottom to the top is pretty even. Um, I've got some bumps in the floor, and I'm going to take care of those in just a moment.